Okay, what's up? Um, all right, so in regards to the setup, okay, so this is gonna be pretty basic. Don't screw yourself up, <laughs> you know? Like, don't set yourself up uh, in your delivery um, to just have a bad initial move, right? Like, depending on what you're trying to do, and anytime I say what you're trying to do, I basically, like, simplify it to, like, are you trying to drive energy into the ground? We talked about with the personal identification uh, system, accelerators and drivers, uh, or are you trying to get going? Okay, so set yourself up for whatever you're trying to do, and, and we'll touch on more of that uh, probably a little bit later on, or maybe I already touched on it in the accelerators and drivers section. But um, this is a really good representation here with Walker Bueller. I've, I've done a few pieces of content on Walker Bueller's setup, um, specifically talking about his his back foot, his drive foot, and how he kind of presets the drive foot. I'll also include a clip of me breaking down my mechanics and, and basically why I do it as well. Probably everyone's got their own reasons for it, but I wanna show you um, in terms of the setup that how it helps Walker Bueller. Um, I'm super uncomfortable on this chair. Lo siento, that means I'm sorry. Um, all right, so the best way to look at a setup is if we can just simplify it to think about like the stretch position, um, the windup can, basically the windup's just getting you to your set position anyways. So Bueller actually started in his windup, but we're gonna take him uh, right as he's going to his initial leg lift right here. So you can see based on this visual that he does, he has this kind of quarter turn, all right, with his foot. His heel is is um, not parallel to the rubber. His, uh, his toe is kind of on top of the rubber. But this setup for, for Bueller is allowing him to stabilize better in that drive leg. And this is something that, uh, that I talk about in my breakdown. Um, so if you want more context on this, be sure to check out that clip. It's about a three minute clip um, in regards to like why I do it and why I think it's beneficial. But you can see that the foot is quarter turned. Um, now that we're kind of on this visual, this actually goes without saying like, set yourself up on the rubber as well, right? Set yourself up on the rubber as well to what you're trying to accomplish, right? So you can kind of, you can kind of compensate for another like mechanical breakdown that you might have as well, just by the way that you set up, right? Setting up far glove side, far arm side. Maybe you're a early pelvis rotation guy. Maybe you're a late hip rotation guy. Maybe setting yourself up, uh, depending on like, you know, what your breakdown is on the rubber can actually instill pretty good motor patterns for you, right? Who knows? Um, I have seen it happen. Uh, okay, so with Bueller, just to get into this breakdown, um, boom, preset quarter turn. And all I want you to see is like the actual stability and the minimal amounts of, of compensation in that foot, in that ankle, in that drive leg, right? I've talked about in the past in regards to the compensation you usually see of a, of a early like drive leg collapse or drive leg instability, kind of like disguising itself um, as drive leg instability when in reality it's just like the foot, you know, the foot in, in, instability. But you saw it in that clip, the stability of it. Here's a really good clip from the World Series. But like, look at the minimal amounts of compensation. He's setting himself up to have a very stable leg lift and a very efficient loading pattern as he descends from that leg lift and as that drive leg absorbs energy and stores energy, right? Um, you can really see it in this angle. Now, you gotta take into consideration the angle at which this was filmed from so that's gonna skew that a little bit. Like the, the World Series video here was taken front, so it's, it's a better representation of his direction, but the preset foot is actually gonna kind of compensate, or I don't know, I don't know if the word is sacrifice direction, but it's gonna, it's gonna change direction. Um, that's obviously we're trying to go linear as possible to maximize like effortless sequencing or effortless velocity through sequencing, but this could also help delay your torso rotation, create maybe a little bit more separation if you have the ability to segment your hip rotation, okay? Um, 
So again, this is kind of a, a good visual example. If you're going to preset that, you're obviously going to have a little bit of a, of a misdirection to start, but that could also accelerate your hip rotation. So maybe that's something to look at uh, down the road. I'm sure we'll talk about more of that in like the hip rotation component. But um, the setup here, boom, stabilizes, and now he goes fantastic. Okay, so again, just to, just to reiterate, just to recap what's probably a six, seven minute video when all I really needed to say was this is a good visual representation for Walker Bueller's setup and his delivery that allows him to do exactly what he's trying to do, and that's absorb efficient energy in that drive leg as he descends from his leg lift. So there's no collapse, there's no instability, that foot is stable, it's connected to the ground, boom, application of ground force, now we transfer it, fantastic. And now you can see, again, we're straight on here, so you can see that that lead, that lead foot is a little bit cross-fired from where that drive leg is, but you can also see that his torso is in line, it's neutral, and that rear hip is coming into rotation. Like I mentioned, his, his rear hip rotation has to accelerate a little bit probably early, um, because of that quarter turn. So you have a ton of separation and the ability to segment. Cool. Boom. Hopefully that helps. But the setup is a very broad term, right? This is just like a visual of, of, a, of an example of a Walker Bueller's setup and how he quarter turns. A setup could be, you know, the way that you bend your legs or bend your knees in your set position if you're trying to feel the ground. There's a lot of different examples. I'm sure I'll, I'll at least try to touch on. Again, I, I, I struggle sometimes when it's like, okay, don't overcomplicate it. And then I talk about so many different things and it's like, frick, <laughs> speak to the masses. But um, those are really tight pants. <laughs> All right, hopefully that uh, cleared some things up in regards to the setup. Moving on.